politicians from Baghdad inspect the latest line in the fight against ISIS, Makmur, in northern Iraq. After the fall of Fallujah, attention has turned here with the focus on the main prize, Mosul. Weaving past the heavily fortified concrete bollards, we head outside the base. As we drive along, Hassan, a 24-year-old from Baghdad, mans the main machine gun, looking into the distance for any potential ISIS threats. So we've just left Macmore main base, where we've just uh, met the defence minister. We're on our way to one of the recently liberated villages by the Iraqi army. The Iraqi army came up here around about three, four months ago and started an operation. It's been sporadic at the moment, and they're trying to retake a village uh, which, which, with an airstrip there, which has been controlled by Daesh since they, since they took Mosul in June 2014. The roadsides are littered with potential improvised explosive devices, or IADs and there is the occasional evidence of recent ISIS attacks. After a short 30-minute drive, we pass one of the last checkpoints and arrive at a recently recaptured village, Mahana. Morale is high amongst the Iraqi soldiers here. However, there is some anger at the perceived lack of support from the government. God willing, there is no place for ISIS anymore. God willing, no ISIS will remain here. We need Haider al-Abadi to support the injured and the families of the martyrs. The government does not help the family of the martyrs. The injured fighters have no money for treatment here or to go to another country. And they don't get enough health care. Heading up to the main compound, destruction is everywhere. The Iraqi army is now in full control of this area, but many of the buildings have been reduced to rubble. The base of operations in Mahana is a lush three-story building, formerly owned by a local tribal leader. Inside, one can see the remnants of ISIS's presence, its fighters having left swiftly after the Iraqi army took back the area. The army has likewise set its sights on another target, Hajda Ali, and beyond is Kisara, 50 kilometers south of Mosul city center, and a town with a large airstrip, which would allow the coalition to launch rapid strikes on ISIS's positions. Despite advances, progress is likely to be slow. The area in the distance is still not secure, and the terrain is suitable for ISIS snipers. Back at the base, the Iraqi army relaxes as they ponder the future of ISIS in Iraq. God willing, Islamic State will be finished and we will be in Mosul soon. God willing, ISIS will be finished soon. We hope all the people will be able to return to their homes. God willing, ISIS will be here only one or two weeks and then they will be finished in Mosul. It seems optimistic, but with the recent success in Fallujah, ISIS's days in Mosul may be numbered. And Owen Holdaway now joins us from Erbil in Iraq. Good evening, Owen. Good evening. You spent some time with the army. Where do things stand and where are they going? Um, well, they're very much they're still not that close, to be honest, to uh, Mosul. Their main, as I said in the package, their main plan was to capture an airstrip with airstrip in uh, Kassara, which will allow sort of rapid attacks, particularly on south of Mosul. So I think, you know, it's going to take them considerable time to move up, move up there. Additionally, quite close to there is also uh, Kaza, which is another line, but that's controlled by the Peshmerga, and they're, they've moved up a little bit. So get, the lines are getting quite close, particularly on south Mosul, to connect up the Iraqi line and the Peshmerga. And so what else does the Iraqi army need to do to prepare for Mosul, which is considered the big victory that they need? I think, I mean, in terms of equipment, I think, you know, they've definitely got the equipment, but, you know, it's just going to take time. Um, you know, I think the IAD clearance is going to take considerable time. Additionally to that, you know, um, a lot of the problem is that the uh, sniper positions, as I said in the package, can, uh, you know, prevent a lot of movement forward. So I think it's just going to be a gradual, gradual progress. I mean, if I was going to put a time frame on, it's very difficult, but probably they might make an, a major assault by the end of the year, um, early January, maybe when it falls. But that, that that's basically an educated guest. And so quite some time to go until then. Owen Holdaway, thank you very much for joining us this evening with these updates from Iraq.